Hello traders, how are you? Vladimir here from Traders Academy Club. Uh, and in this video, I would like to uh, share with you a very interesting trading uh, opportunity developing uh, on the Aussie uh, Kiwi, okay, Australian and New Zealand and pair. Um, very interesting multi time frame analysis, starting from the weekly time frame and um, with wave structures we already see on the four hour chart. So let's go to the chart and uh, see what do we have here, why and what do I uh, expect from this pair to develop and um, how I expect the price to go. And um, one uh, request, if you find these videos useful and helpful, please uh, show your support back, hit this like button, a few words in the comment section would be a huge help. And uh, of course, thank you very much in advance to all those of you who, who Take the time and uh, to uh, share your help. So uh, on the weekly time frame, as I said, we already uh, have a very interesting retest of the swing highs, swing high, swing high, swing high. This zone been retested, and we created a beautiful harami on the weekly time frame. And look at this bearish moving average divergence, histogram divergence, and RSI divergence. While the uh, price making higher highs, we already start to see lower highs on all the indicators. That's a strong, solid indication that the buyers are getting uh, exhausted, tired, um, or the price simply reaches the area where we could expect the buyers to start and get rid some uh, of some of their positions. So with that being said, from the weekly time frame, we go down to the daily chart. And on a daily chart, also on all of this bullish trend, we can see where the bearish divergence started. There is one little concern I have here, and that's that on the most recent two highs here, there is no divergence. That opens up a very, I would say, low chance, but still low probability, but still possible scenario of final rally like uh, one more final high until the divergence completes that that's the second scenario of the for this pair and then a sell-off a big sell-off but the first scenario which i want to share is taking into consideration the missing part of the daily time frame however the weekly is already there right only the daily is missing weekly is already there uh here is what starts to happen here we can clearly see the four hour chart waves, three lower highs, lower lows without any ending conditions. That's a pretty solid, decent, um, uh, decent sign that the sellers start to show their interest. With three lower highs, lower lows, there are two uh, usual uh, scenarios that the price follows. First one, we get some sort of ABCD or a range. It could be in two waves or slightly more right, before the breakouts take place and the price dives down. The other scenario is a correction until a bearish hidden divergence comes in play. Okay, And this hidden divergence could be built this way. So we do have a trending structure making lower highs, lower lows. One more pullback to make lower highs on the chart, right, versus higher highs on the indicator. This would be a strong indication that uh, sellers might really be ready to take the control. So uh, that's pretty much exact, uh, the scenarios I follow. I want to see these waves taking place. Ideally, a bearish hidden divergence comes in play. And then with the break below this ABCD or range consolidation, I'll be expecting to see further move down. By the way, uh, if you are wondering with what instruments I draw on my screen and what are these amazing uh, multi time frame levels I have here, these are indicators uh, on my uh, trading arsenal. You can download them. You can follow the links below this video in the description. Or if you go to the blog, uh, which you can find here. Okay. So my strategies and courses, uh, in-house indicators, and you would find all of my tools here.
Okay. Many of them are available also in a free version. So go uh, explore, download, install, and enjoy them. Also, make sure not for, forget uh, we are back to uh, publish our weekly forex forecast in text version. Okay. So I publish usually my uh, weekly forecast during the weekend. And at the beginning of the week, um, my team publishes the uh, text version. So you can also find it in the blog and it will, it's there for you for easy follow. So uh, back to the Aussie um, Kiwi, two scenarios as I explained. One is the correction until we do have a hidden divergence, lower highs on the chart, higher highs on the indicator to give a um, further bearish continuation uh, sign. Okay, and then I expect a further move down. Second scenario would be a bit more rare, but still possible. A final rally until the daily completes the divergence and the false breakout, and then a big dive down. What targets can we expect when the move starts to move, uh, starts, starts to happen? So first of all, the daily volume zone, as we can see here, next to the swing low, approximately around the 110, maybe slightly higher. And if we manage to break that down finally, then I would not be surprised if we will see the Aussie Kiwi drops as low as to 108, 107, uh, 50 area. That's my view on the Aussie Kiwi. I believe on the ne uh, next several days, maybe weeks, it will be a very interesting pair to follow as I do expect to see um, very interesting technical waves developing here. Let me know what do you think about uh, this uh, pair? How do you expect uh, it to move? Uh, is that the end of the bullish view you, from your point of view or um, we still have a room? Share with us your thoughts in the comment section and uh, thanks for your time watching this video. I wish you and yours all the best. Happy trading and I'll see you soon with more. Bye for now.